Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when and where you're viewing this. My name is Mike. I am the Crypto Liberal. Hey, help me get the message out because we are killing it on this channel. Help me get the message out that that you don't need to stick with the majority. You can you can explore other cryptos besides Bitcoin and do better. That is the message of this channel. That is what we've been proving since I started this channel almost 13 weeks ago. The lucky 13, right? We've been proving it on this channel. If you appreciate that, if you want to help me spread the message, if you want to change change the narrative, help me do it. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe because we're proving it on this channel. And we're killing it on this channel. So hope you're with me. Hope you're with me. So, <coughs> excuse me. If you've been following this channel since day one, 13 weeks ago, you know since day one I've been telling you any new money put into to Cardano will outperform Ethereum and Bitcoin by the end of the year, a year from now, five years from now. And any new money put into Ethereum will outperform Bitcoin by those same time frames. And that's my hypothesis. And I prove it. I prove it on here, on this channel, and I prove it on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at crypto underscore liberal because I, I prove, I, I collect data, <coughs> excuse me, I collect the data to prove that hypothesis. And how do we collect the data? We dollar cost average into each of those coins, each of those cryptos, and we put $100 in each week. So we've been doing it for 12 weeks. That's $1,200 we put into each of those, right? So how, we, how how's it looking? Well, look at that. $1,200 into each of them, only ADA and Ethereum are up versus the US dollar. They're the only ones up versus the US dollar. Yeah. You know, admittedly, ADA barely and Bitcoin's under, underwater barely, but they're still above, uh, you know, our, our entry point. We're, we're still making a profit versus US dollar on both ADA and Ethereum. And on top of that, both ADA and Ethereum are outperforming Bitcoin already. Already. Not it, not by the end of the year. Already. Now they are outperforming Bitcoin. And that is the name of the game in this channel. That's what we're setting out to prove. And we're doing it daily on this channel. So Help me change the narrative. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. So I'm not going to go into the stock market today because it was up. And, you know, you know, we've been talking about this forever, right? When the stock market is up, the 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 crypto, the crypto market's usually up, you know, along with it. It's they're they're correlated to a to a high degree at this point. And and so we're not going to talk about that. But we are going to you know, we're let's start with Bitcoin, right? We're going to talk about Bitcoin and why I think some strong resistance is about to come in. And I'm the only one talking about this. I haven't seen one person on crypto Twitter. I haven't seen one person on crypto YouTube talking about this resistance level. And why? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll break right through it and it's not a problem. But we'll see. We'll see. So here, let's just start with, let's start with Bitcoin. So if you've been with me for a while, you know this red line. This red line. I'm not going to get excited about Bitcoin until we get above this red line, hold it for like a week or two, and, and maybe even come back down and test it as support because this, this red line will be strong resistance. And why is it strong resistance? Well, first of all, we haven't broken through it yet, right? But look at this. Let's squeeze this down. Let's squeeze this down. Look at it. Okay, that red line. Keep an eye on that red line. Look at how it acted as support. Strong support for over a month, you know, back in May and June of this year. Okay, that's once. Strong support. Well, look at this. Strong support here in January of this year. Look at that. Strong support. You know, that's not it though. Let's shrink it down more. How about further back? Strong support in September of last year. Look at that. That red line. Keep an eye on that red line. Right? The middle red line now. And again, strong support in September, support in August. And okay, before we broke above it back here, resistance in July of last year. It served as resistance, got rejected and went down a little bit. Okay, resistance. And then look at, so before we broke down before it, below it again, support in April of last year. And then before that, support in March of last year. And before that, resistance in March, earlier in March of last year. And before that, it served as a little bit of resistance in February of last year. So going back 18 months, you know, 18 months, this middle red line has been strong resistance. It's been strong support many, many times over. So do you think we're just going to break through it? You think we're just going to break through it just easily? I don't see it. And I don't know why other people haven't been talking about it. We're in two descending channels. We're coming up to the heart line of that descending, the, the two descending channels. 
I don't see us just breaking through. Now, maybe we do. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we just break right through and then come back down and test it. We'll see. But I can't believe nobody else has recognized this, this, these two descending channels we're in. And they played out so perfectly for almost two years at this point. How can't people recognize it? So if you appreciate that, if you appreciate that information, if you appreciate me bringing it to the channel, help me spread the word. Because this is one of the reasons why alts are ready to take off versus Bitcoin. Because we're coming up on a resistance level. We're not, if we do break through it, we're going to come back down and test it as support. But in the meantime, alts might take off. Alts will take off. Alts are taking off. And we're proving it on this channel, right? So let's start with, you know, we're going to go through four alts that I brought to this channel, three of which were winning trades. We're winning the trade. One of which is down just a little bit. So let's start with the bad news. Let's start with um, Polkadot, which I brought to the channel a couple weeks ago now. So if you're new to my channel, you know I look at the each of these alts versus Bitcoin, right? That's what we're trying to win. We're trying to prove that these alts are better investments for your portfolio than Bitcoin. And I do it on the weekly, right? These are not short-term trades, not short-term trades at all. Okay, so look at this descending descending wedge that we're in, right? And a couple weeks ago, I said, look, we're breaking out of the descending wedge, bullish. And I said, wait for it to come back down and prove that this, this resistance line, this upper red line acts as support. It did. And that's when I got in. When one dot was worth about 0 0.00035 Bitcoin. Well, right now we're at 0 0.00035. 33 Bitcoin. So we're barely losing, losing a little bit on this trade, a little bit, but I'm not worried about it, right? It's still above the, the support line. It's held as support a couple weeks in a row, three weeks in a row, in fact, four weeks in a row. And we're having a green week this week, even though Bitcoin's taking off, right? Bitcoin is doing well this week, but not as well as DOT. So DOT is about to turn bullish. And this descending wedge, look at this. I mean, it goes all the way up to here at 0 0.0008 Bitcoin. That's what I that's what I would wait for. That's what I am waiting for on my trade. And and that's more than a double, right? That's more than a double. So I'm not concerned about this at all. So what one trade, we're losing. But that's that's so that's that's like my smallest position, second smallest position at this point. And it, it pales in comparison to my two biggest positions. So let's go to my, my, my smallest position, which is winning as of right now versus Bitcoin. And that's Aave, right? Aave. Aave versus Bitcoin. Again, I look at the Coinbase chart and the weekly chart. Look at this. So I told you, I brought it to the channel a few weeks ago when we were breaking this descending wedge. Again, a descending wedge. It looks just like... The, the dot chart, but it goes back much further. Oh my goodness, this one goes back to February of last year, over a year. This is so bullish. I'm gonna I'm going more heavily into Ave soon here. And and so I when we broke above it, I said see if when we broke above this upper red line that was resistance, I said if see if it comes back down and tested as support. It did. And then I didn't get in two weeks ago. I got in last week when we went down a little bit. And I got in at and I have it on the channel. I put it on the channel so you can go back and watch a video at 0 0.004 Bitcoin. Well, right now we're at 0 0.00419 Bitcoin. We're winning the trade. And that's just the start, right? That's just the start. Again, that's more than a, it's more than a double that I'm waiting for in this. So if, if it doubles, right? If you had moved in with me, if you had moved one Bitcoin into Aave when I brought it to the channel and it does double, that's one Bitcoin you could turn into two Bitcoin, two Bitcoin into four Bitcoin. Now, I have that's again. This is my smallest position, but I'm going to keep loading up on Abe, um, and we're going to talk about where that those funds are going to come from. From my perspective, none of this is financial advice. You need to make your own financial decisions based on your own financial situation. But you could do worse than following this channel because we're killing it. We are killing Bitcoin right now. So let's get into the other ones. My bigger positions. Let's start with my biggest position, which is if you follow my channel, you know is ADA, right? ADA versus Bitcoin. So Cardano versus Bitcoin. And again, we look at the Coinbase chart. If I can type and and the weekly chart. So this is a long-term trade, right? And again, this is a descending wedge. And I told you back here, 
when one ADA was worth 0.000019 Bitcoin before this giant green candle. And now we're at 0.00002154 Bitcoin. And what does that mean? That's over a 15% return on Bitcoin versus, versus Bitcoin on Cardano. We are winning that trade. And that's just the beginning. Cardano is going to explode. Mark my words. In just my opinion, but mark my words. Cardano is going to explode versus Bitcoin. It's going to it's going to skyrocket. Now, the reason it's lagging right now is one reason, simply because Vassal, the Vassal hard fork was delayed. And when it was due to launch here in a couple days, might be a couple more weeks, might be a month, I don't know. But that is a reason to be bullish on Cardano. Cardano doesn't release things until they're they're ready to go, until they're ready to rock and roll, right? Because it's not like Solana, which releases things and then Solana shuts down for a day or two, right? Because something goes wrong. It doesn't happen on Cardano. Cardano has been running consistently for 2,000 days or something like that, right? Cardano doesn't get shut down. And that's because of the scientific approach of, of peer-reviewed um, releases, and so when they release something, when they launch something like Vassal, that will greatly enhance the scalability of Cardano, you can be sure that it's going to work and Cardano is not going to shut down. And why is it going to pass Ethereum? Well, Ethereum is trying to catch Cardano, especially after Vassal releases, right? The scalability improves. Ethereum is nowhere near where Cardano will be after they improve their scalability. Ethereum is trying to catch Cardano on proof of, proof of stake, right? And... And that's the reason Car or Ethereum is 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 uh, you know going up so much right now is because people are excited about the merge and and Ethereum moving to proof of stake. Well, Cardano's already there. Cardano's already made that improvement. Cardano's already up and running in that in that regard. So so the fact that, that as soon as as soon as Vassal launches and scalability improves and projects start start moving into Cardano. On, in, on an exponential basis, right? Uh, you know, NFTs and, and DeFi projects and dApps. Cardano is going to explode. Cardano is so undervalued right now. Mark my words. Cardano is going to explode. So that's that's Cardano, right? We're, but we're already up against Bitcoin. We're already up 15% versus Bitcoin. So there's nothing to complain about. We're losing to Ethereum right now on our Cardano, but I have plenty of Ethereum too. So I'm not worried about it. Cardano is gonna pass Ethereum by the end of the year. Mark my words, but we'll see. So let's move into the big mover over the past few days, the past few weeks, really. Ethereum, Ethereum is crushing Bitcoin, crushing it. And let's go back to my one of my original videos on this topic. Now, when I play this video, watch where, take specific note of where the chart is when when we watch it because i told you right at the exact bottom when ethereum was right at the exact bottom versus bitcoin i didn't tell you three weeks prior or three weeks too late i told you when it was right at the exact bottom take note of 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 where the ethereum bitcoin chart is on this video so watch this look at ethereum real quick because i also put money into ethereum well i always do that sorry so i'm gonna go here eth btc and again, we're going to look at the Coinbase chart. So I showed you this chart for the first time yesterday. Oh, did I pass it? Where's Coinbase? There it is. Okay. And I, I'm, look at I'm making money in this one now too. Nice. So, well, look at that. I told you right here, right at the bottom of this, this support line that goes back like a year. I mean, not quite a year, like 10 months or something, right? Look at that. That's perfect. And now we wick down below it today. So I was I was down in my my investment today, but at point zero or point zero five two Bitcoin, I put it into Ethereum here, and look at it, right now we're at point zero five two eight three. Was down on it earlier today, but now we're back above that support line. This is the weekly again, so we have an entire week to close above it. Wasn't worried when I saw it below it today, but look at that. What am I? Okay, so did you take note of where we were on that chart? Let's look at the chart live right now, right now, because this is, I'm, I'm pumped because I brought it to you at the exact opportune moment. So look at, 
Where were we when I when we talked about it on this channel for like the second time? Down here. Down here. At the very bottom. When one Ethereum was 0 0.052 Bitcoin. And where are we at right now? 0 0.072 Bitcoin. Is that over 0 0.072 Bitcoin? What does that mean? That's a over a 40% return. I told you I was waiting for almost a 50% return on, on my Ethereum trade versus Bitcoin. We're up 40% versus Bitcoin. I told you at the exact moment it was turning bullish. I hope some of you went in with me. I hope some of you hope some of you took advantage of that just golden opportunity. And that's what we're trying to do on this channel. We're trying to, to change the narrative that it, it doesn't all center around Bitcoin, that there are great investments in crypto, that there are great investments that will, will greatly outperform Bitcoin. And we're proving it on this channel. We're up 40 per, over 40% on that trade. Now, stay with me, right? Stay with me because you and follow me on Twitter because I'm about to exit that position. And I might be moving in a lot of that into Aave. Um, I'm not going to go into Bitcoin because there's so many alt charts that are, that are bullish versus versus Bitcoin. But I told you I was waiting until we got up to this top blue line, which is right now is at, you know, well, it's a constant blue line, but it's 0 0.076. So when we get up to maybe 0.075, I'm going to start moving out. So pay attention to my Twitter, pay attention to this channel, because I will be, I will be open and forthcoming when I start moving out of Ethereum and putting it, and I'll tell you, I'll openly tell you where I'm taking that, that money and putting it into. Right now I'm thinking it's Aave. But I might put some into ADA too, because both of them will will greatly outperform Bitcoin. I'm not going to put it in back into Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to be a loser compared to all the other charts that we've been talking about on this channel. So if you agree with me, if you if you want to help me change the narrative, you need to help me spread the word. You need to like this video. You need to subscribe to my channel. You need to hit the bell notification so you get updates when I'm making new videos. That's the only way we're going to change the narrative. We're going to do it together. And it's working. We're killing it. We're killing it on this channel. Over 40%, are you kidding me? On Ethereum, on our Ethereum trade versus Bitcoin? Over 15% on our on our ADA trade? We're winning our Aave trade? And and those are, the ADA and the Aave trades are just starting out. They're just starting out. They were going to kill Bitcoin. And I'm, I'm convinced Polkadot's going to gonna beat Bitcoin as well. So if you appreciate that, give me a like, give me a subscribe. That's all I have today. It's, it's a celebratory, celebratory day, and it is a celebratory day all across crypto because people are excited that Bitcoin's moving, but it's not moving as much as we are in this channel, right? It's not moving as much as we are in this channel. We are killing it, and we're going to continue to kill it. So give me a like, give me a subscribe. Hope you're having a great night. My name is Mike. I am the Crypto Liberal. Have a good night. We'll chat more tomorrow. Good night.